Hi everybody, it's Carly, and today I wanted to share with you a card that I made using a medium that's new to me, liquid watercolors. I used Avriel liquid watercolors for this card and I really liked them. I especially like that they coordinate with their pigment ink palette because Mint to Be is one of my favorite colors ever. When I'm an old lady, you're going to see me rocking a tracksuit in that color and speed walking at a mall near you. <laughs> So anyway, I tried something else that was new to me for this card. I stamped my image in the Mint to Be pigment ink and I did not emboss, which normally I would, but I didn't this time and I thought it worked out really well. So that's kind of exciting to know that I can do that in the future. So after I stamped that beautiful wreath image from the Avriel Loved and Admired set, I used the liquid watercolors in Mint to Be and Lemongrass to color in that inside space. I went over all the inside leaves and just over the middle and I let the colors blend together to be this other beautiful shade of green, which is something that I really like about these watercolors, is you can mix a lot of new shades, so that's really fun. And after I just filled it in and blended it to my heart's content, then I took a paper towel and kind of mopped up a little bit of that pigment, so that is a little bit more of a subtle wash, and when I stamp my sentiment later there, it'll really shine. I heat set because I'm super impatient, and then I went over the image again, coloring just the leaves. I did all the leaves on the inside and then a few on the outside and no real pattern. <laughs> I heat set again and then went over it one more time because I wanted it to be really bright and vibrant. And then once I was happy with that, I heat set one more time and I added just some little dots. Next I stamped my sentiment in the middle and that sentiment, you are the most kick-ass kick-asser I know, is hysterical, and if someone sent me a card that said that, I would love them forever. And after I stamped it, I promptly smudged my card, <laughs> so I cropped it down a little bit and mounted it on a white card and added some purple rhinestones, and I was super happy with it. So I highly recommend these watercolors. They're great for beginners. They're easy to use. And um, if you want to see more about this, there's a link in the description to my blog post and supplies I've used. And thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day.